Welcome to Calder Road for the Sussex Bluefin Junior Cup Final. which sees Woodhurst United take on Sidley United. These two teams know plenty of each other, with Sidley winning both league meetings this season 2-1. Since the second of those defeats, Woodhurst have been in decent form and coming to this final with just one defeat in five. Sidley have also been in good form all season long and this final could be a first part of a double with the league title chase still alive. They've only lost one in five before today as well and are bizarrely without a draw all season. Wadhurst United have scored in their last 19 games and Sidley have netted in every match this season. But who will get more goals and win the cup tonight? John Penny, the right winger, will launch it forwards again. I believe it will. But a chance here and there's no offside flag. Big chance this. Lost it over the keeper by Bates. And finds his way in. And it's Lee Bates who scores to give Wadhurst the lead here. The defence just split apart and Lee Bates ran through and capitalised on it. It was a simple ball forward. One of the Sydney defenders was late coming out. The goalkeeper rushed out. Lee Bates, Lee Bates just lofted it straight over him. That's Sidley nil. Wadhurst won. Kemp forward again looking in towards funnel. Wins it. Decent touch off. Scrace with time. But gone right underneath the finish. John Kerry will deliver this one from deep. Plenty forward again. Kerry stabs it low to the edge of the box. Cork able to bring it down. Couldn't work the space to shoot. But the rebound, oh, right, comes through. Surely a goal. Yeah. And it's actually Elphick who equalizes the winger in off the touchline. The number 11 puts it in. And Ashley Elphick levels the scoring here at Carver Road. The free kick was put in, it then got drilled back through via a few deflections off of Wadhurst's legs. It was tucked neatly in the corner by Ashley Elphick. That's Sidley won, Wadhurst won. Floats it in right under the goalkeeper's nose. Didn't really get there. Half got to the second attempt and he's out. Still a chance. And it's put over the bar. He won't. Jackson forwards into the middle. It's a dangerous ball too. Double deflection on it. And he's put it in the back post. And there's no flag. And Ryan Bateman has put Wadhurst United back in front here. It was a beautifully floated free kick. And the number 11 stole it in the back post to put it in. Forward by Jones. Penny again in the way. Sanderson tries to run here at Jackson. Slides one forward in towards Scrace. Option in the middle. Save. It'll come back out here. Day. Neat touch. Drills it back in. Again the save. Now it's Scrace. And eventually it does go in. And the goal from Aaron Scrace brings us level again. Just five minutes into the second half. And you have to feel for Mike McKernan there in the Wadhurst goal. He just kept keeping it out. They were having loads of goes. Day with the effort, the right-handed save, and it came back to Aaron Scrace, who put the ball into the back of the net. Penny drifts inside, bit of time for him on the edge of the box. Digs out a shot too, and it's tipped round the post. Top, top save that. Joe Rogers. LB Jackson again to deliver the corner. Spins it in near post. Penny with the header! And he drops it in the back post. A real, real top header from the Wadhurst captain, John Penny, with the goal. A simple delivery, whipped in near post. Penny peeled off to the front corner of the six-yard box and a twisted looping header into the top corner. Only Funnel and Sanderson in the middle. Ball comes deep in there. Tinkham away. Comes out to Elphick. May again will cross from deep. McKernan thought about it. Funnel missed it. Scrace didn't. And we're 3-3 now. And it's Aaron Scrace again at the back post. Who steals in? McKernan with his head in his hands. The goalkeeper perhaps could have done better. But Aaron Scrace gets his second of the game. Day to deliver. Oh, it's a dangerous ball in. McKernan comes. The goalkeeper gets half a punch. Hit back in by Kerry. Goalkeeper saves again on the edge of his six yard box. Sanderson's across from deep. Decent one towards Bailey at the back post. Free head up, had space, had time. James Bailey should have done better there, the substitute. We'll have another 30 minutes. 3 3 the score here. Wadhurst three times leaving, two from Scrace. Clawing the opposition, Sidley back into it. Full time here, 3 3. Another half an hour to come. 
Kerry has Hemp on one more. He tees him up. Gary Hemp from distance and he's gripped into the corner. And Gary Hemp scores 30 yards or more on the left. Fires it in. But perhaps questions Mike McKernan and his near post beaten from that distance and he could see it all the way. Day skips away from the challenge of Bates. Hemp tries to clip one forward. Bates able to intercept it. Then Sanderson had it back off him. Scrace inside, opening up for him here. Goes to shoot. He's just turned around the post. Bailey, chance here. Tries to run to the byline. Back across and tipped over the bar. Mike McKernan denies James Bailey from point blank range. And again, Bates does well. Crosses deep in towards the head of Bateman. Just got underneath it a little bit. It was a big chance. And it might come for Sanderson here on the break. Mitchell knows he can't go in. Funnels made a good run and stayed onside this time. Sanderson square if he wants it. It's Funnels to seal it. But he couldn't keep it down. Sanderson again in the way. Down to Cochran. He'll get to that too. Tries to find the teammate and he does. Bailey in a lot of space. Comes across. Jace Bailey drills it and seals it for Sydney United who will be winning the cup. And it's James Bailey the substitute with the goal. And that is surely that now with five minutes to go. Bates does well, moved on to order again. Looking into Harry Bateman, who's got the better of the defender here. Bateman stings the palms of Rogers, who makes a really good save. Jackson stabs it into the middle, looking for the run of Bateman. And maybe it's not over yet. Harry Bateman, the substitute, scores. A simple ball drifted directly over the top, over the Sidley defence. Harry Bateman stole the run. Bailey in again. There might be another goal in this. Pulls it all the way across. Ewan Cameron at the back post should have dealt with it, didn't. Scrace, surely, penalty given. One has one, find a way back into it now. Gary Hemp to seal the cup final. Hemp into the corner, and surely, surely that is it now. Hemp gets his second, this time from 12 yards. And brings about the referee's whistle to end this topsy-turvy cup final. It swung every way possible, and it was attacking from the off. One has taken the lead after just eight minutes. They led three times and were three times pegged back by Sidley, who showed character to do so. 3-3, three, three, we went into extra time. Goals at either end in extra time. I mean, the final score here sees Sidley win the cup by six goals to four.